computers to look everything up for us. But if you grew up in the 80s, you likely became best friends with the card catalog to find books of the library, uh, the Dewey Decimal System. For you youngsters that aren't sure what that is, it was a wooden cabinet full of tiny drawers that carried small cards. You sifted through the cards to find the book you wanted using the Dewey Decimal System. Ha <laughs> ha! It was a bit more complicated. 17. Discover computers slowly. In the 80s, most kids were lucky if they had a computer in the house. Even if they had one, many had little idea how to use the DOS-based operating system. The computer was like an odd alien object, mysterious and wonderful. Gradually over time, you could discover the different aspects of the computer because they were so new and fresh. It was exciting. Of course, the computer everywhere, the wonder and awe is kind of gone. A computer! 16. Pull the ends off. Tearing the ends off. Fun fact, we still get to do that in Enterprise. Enterprise still uses dot matrix printers. 15. Experience the joys of chalk. Sure, some kids still use chalk today, but it's rare. In the 80s, chalk boards and chalk abounded. Kids were using on the playgrounds, the driveways, and everywhere. Chalk is making a bit of a comeback amongst many hipsters today, likely because they remember the days of yore when chalk ruled and markers drooled. Except the spelling markers, those are amazing. That's a phrase that I've heard in a long time. 14. Make their parents or grandparents ashtrays in art class. Not only have a lot of art classes disappeared, but the projects were also a bit different from what you'd see today. What's an easy craft that also serves a purpose? Plastic, of course. While no one was suggesting students smoke, it was almost expected that one of your parents or grandparents smoked. What says I love you more than enabling your elder smoking addiction? Good morning. Daddy's playing for money so we can get some dinner tonight. You playing? You bidding for money? No, I'm not betting anything. I'm online doing Daddy's Hearthstone, seeing if people will give Daddy tips so we can go get some Wendy's or something tonight. That's if we, that's if we get anything. I barely ever get anything anymore. But we're trying. Or if we do, you might can go to Little Caesars again. Little Caesars sounds good too. Are you prepared for the trials ahead? It was also awesome, and kids today have no idea what they missed out on. Play dodgeball at school. Dodgeball isn't just a game to see in movies. It's an actual play. It is school. You were given participation credit for trying to slam some of the big things. If anybody wants to hook it up, it would be appreciated. All I want to do is take my kids out to Wendy's today. My cash app's in the bio. If you need it, I'll tap it. What's the good news, love? Oh, cute little cat. Good thing you're not allergic like Daddy is. Yeah, what? Well, sometimes, but some. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The early order, in many ways, the golden age of cereals. So many different kinds of cereals get out of it. That's how you feel the pack with sugar.
so, so much sugar. Parents back then didn't really care either. They just wanted us to sit down and be quiet. Today, of course, heroes are more focused on fiber and vitamins. Hey, wear neon colors in public without judgment. There's neon, and then there's 80s levels of neon. Many of us 80s kids wore enough neon to make current day ravers jealous. Today, if you're a kid wearing too much neon, you'll probably get beat up. Seven, watch Saturday morning cartoons. Saturday mornings were a sacred time for kids. It was the only time when you woke up bright and early to sit in front of the television with a bowl of that sugary cereal and watch cartoons non-stop until lunchtime. From teenage mutant it seems to you other plans are falling into place. The best cartoons ever. The 90s had one Saturday morning now. Six. Sleep on a waterbed. At one time, waterbeds were insanely popular. Then, of course, I was so unhappy about they are, it's pretty self-explanatory. Their mattress filled with water. Turns out they're pretty expensive and costly to maintain, so okay. stop Always them. good to get into new clothes, honey. Five. Pack peanut butter in their lunchbox. Now that you've heard Go ahead and turn it off afterwards. Anywhere your legs can pedal fast enough to get you there. Today, with a long, sad history of missing kids, and some people who are not the kids being kidnapped, parents aren't so willing to let kids wander off to far apart from home. Three. Stay in the car with your parents. 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 Stay in the car with your it's unlikely any kid today has actually used one. Two, find Carmen San Diego. As a tricky way to teach kids both deductive reasoning and geography, schools and parents installed computer video games and told them it would be fun. Turns out it was. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? One, select their own Valentine. Your strategy is working. These days, Keep it up. Send Valentine's Day cards to everyone. Or no one. That wasn't the case back in the 80s. You'd have to choose who you wanted to give a card to. It's one of the social contacts to see who wants to give a card to. Then. So, in this case, in this case, other generations, which things on this list are you sad you missed out on? What was better about your generation? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list25. I can't wait until we get told about 80s kids. Welcome everybody. Same 
game was released on the Sega Mega Drive in November 1991. Now, by all accounts, the game well, absolutely sucked. Providing the game adaptations of films being rubbish isn't exactly something exclusive to the 21st century. You can't really call Did the game for just being else here an echo? Which is or was it just six with me? Which as the game in time for Christmas, so that Sega could capitalize on all of those sweet, sweet holiday sales. However, unbeknownst to anyone involved in the development, Sega didn't technically own the right to make a game. That choice, it tended to troll those dumb enough to actually purchase it. Now this mentality came back to bite the Sorry for the fucking disconnects you guys. Know.